tongue and lip ties can lead to many problems for an infant, and this issue is not always easily noticeable. Dr. Autumn Morgan from Dentistry at Somerset joins us now to talk about the signs and symptoms of tongue ties and lip ties. Uh, you were telling me this, this is fairly common, especially in children, right? It is, yes. It affects about 20% of people. Wow. And getting the right diagnosis from the right person is the most important. What is a lip tie and a tongue tie? So a tongue and lip tie is when the tissue underneath your tongue or lip restricts the free motion, um, resulting in symptoms for that individual. So the symptoms can range from infant to adult. And we can see a picture. So this would be a lip tie, right? Because it's on, on yeah. the top of the, and then the tongue tie would look similar mm -hmm. um, on the bottom. Yeah. And you are trained in, in noticing this and treating this. It's not something even doctors might notice, right? Yeah, unless you've had special training, um, pediatricians and dentists don't always notice or know what to do with this tissue. So it's really important to get it looked at by the proper person. Uh, what are some of the problems that this can cause? It can lead to, in infants, it can lead to problems breastfeeding or bottle feeding. Um, in children, it can lead to speech delays or mm. snoring. And in adults, it can be a contributing factor to snoring or sleep apnea. And so what are some signs or symptoms we can notice, especially in, in babies? Because mm -hmm. I would imagine that's especially when you want to get this, this taken care of. Absolutely. So um, you can notice by looking at the tongue or lip if, you, if it makes like a heart shape or if the lip can't quite flip up. Um, other signs and symptoms, uh, you can have trouble like smacking and clicking while they're eating. Um, things like that of that nature unable to latch or even hold a pacifier in their mouth okay so even if they're having trouble feeding this might be a contributive factor mm-hmm absolutely uh, so what can we do how, how do we get this I guess examined looked at and yeah. treated get it looked at by someone who's trained and then what you can do to treat it or what that provider does is they use a laser to release the tissue that is being tied down so whether that's the lip or the tongue it is relatively painless and um, quick. So, and that can be something that a lot of patients see improvement in a short amount of time. I think we even have a picture of a patient who's, oh. who's had this done. Yes, and do. you were telling me, uh, really special, she's your daughter. She is, she's my little Miss May. Um, oh, those are some photos of um, patients that I have treated and had difficulties um, of their restrictions. Okay, so that's kind of what, what would, mm -hmm. would be the cause. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, if we have that beautiful picture yeah. of your daughter, because you said uh, that, that she had uh, a lip tie or a tongue tie? Yeah, she had a lip and tongue tie, and it was really affecting her ability to eat through a bottle efficiently. Really? And so we released it about a week and a half ago, and she is doing great. We've seen wonderful improvements, and she is eating much better. <laughs> oh, how beautiful. And really lucky that you were able to... How did you spot this in her, by the way, being a trained professional? It took me a little bit, honestly, because really? hers wasn't very obvious. It, I really had to look into it and see how her symptoms were acting, and she's my first little one. So <laughs> um, once I noticed it, we released it, and she's been eating great ever since. Oh, well, thank you for sharing that. Yeah. Thank you for, for bringing this to our attention, because mm -hmm. it sounds like this is something that can affect you throughout your life mm -hmm. if you don't have it uh, treated, right? Yes, absolutely it can. And in dentistry, I went into this profession wanting to make a positive impact in people's lives, and this has definitely been and the thing that I feel like has given me passion with my profession. Well, thank you again so much for being here. We appreciate yeah. it. And for more information at Dentistry at Somerset, you can go online to dentistryatsomerset.com or call 515-337-2244. They're located in Ames, and you can follow them on Facebook and Instagram.